and I'm Alison and I'm one of the leaders here at Salvation Army. I'm here with Carol. Uh, Carol is one of our long-standing members of the church here in Southport and we just want to share a little bit of um, Carol's experience. She's been away um, on a very exciting trip and she's here to tell us all about it. So, yes. Carol, hello. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Um, tell us, where have you been? My pleasure. Um, I recently returned from Scargill House, set in the beautiful Skipton, oh. gorgeous um, area. Is that Yorkshire? Yes, right. absolutely beautiful. Okay. Um, lovely drive there, um, house set in the hills, looking out the window every day to the hills with the snow on top, it was beautiful. So what was it at Skipton? Where it did you stay? It was a Lent, oh sorry. Where did you stay? We stayed at Skipton House oh, okay. and it's a retreat, a retreat centre and it was a Lent retreat I was on Okay. and it was one week, Monday to Friday, Excellent. led by Bishop Bob Evans. Okay, so do you want to tell us something about your experience there, what you learned? What... It was a wonderful week, um, the, we were looking at um, God looking through the mirror what God saw and what we saw. And Bob Evans used um, poetry and he used art right. and he used music. And two days of the retreat were in silence, which was absolutely, <laughs> I know, it was wonderful. You started off thinking, oh my goodness, how will I do this? And as it went on, it just got more and more lovely. There became, for me, a real deep honesty with God in the silent time. But as God, as Bob spoke through art, um, one such um, picture that he set up on the screen was a Joseph Wright. Right. It was um, a grotto in the Salerno sunset. A beautiful picture and there was a cave and a little boat in the cave and then outside the cave there was the beautiful brightness and as I looked at the picture I could visualize I could see Jesus pulling me out of the cave and into the sunshine it was a vision and as I sat there and felt the, this vision it was beautiful it was powerful. Bob mu used music as well. And um, it was wonderful to show what the music and God shows us through that. Okay, so obviously it was a really powerful time for you. Um, how is that going to impact you and your life now? What, what can you take away from your experience? Uh -huh. Through the week, the words that were said constantly to us, God smiles when he hears your name. And they were said over and over again until not only did I believe them, I was smiling too. And I felt that if we can really accept the simple truth of God's unconditional love in our heart and his mercy and just allow them to take root then it changes us mm. it changed me it changed me in that week and uh, I believe that in that week as the words I heard were new but as they were repeated again they took root anew mm. and I came back a better person. So actually that's a real message of hope, isn't it? Given our current situation and everyone perhaps panicking or fearful of in what's going times, on. In these times. To know that God loves us, that he's got this in his hands, yeah. I think is a really encouraging message. Yeah. Um, so how for you can you share that message? I came home so inspired and, and it just felt like my personal responsibility and challenge to tell out God's story yeah. to everyone I meet, everyone I meet. 
um, and before there were more restrictions in place, um, it was everywhere I went, it was in shopping in town, getting my coffee, um, I have a lot of hospital appointments, going into the hospital, um, every person I meet everywhere. Now there are more restrictions in place, it's not changed a lot because people are speaking to one another. Mm -hmm. And there's such an opportunity then Absolutely. to see it and mention church. Absolutely. And that's an opening yes. and such an opportunity. Of course it is, because we talk about often church is, is perceived as a building, but actually we're the church it's and the we are given a brilliant opportunity now to just talk with people, encourage people, share his love, God's love, and just how much people are valued. Yeah. And we don't want to be preaching at them. I think it's no. just speak simply. Absolutely. From the heart, be open. Be open to questions. And, and don't be don't be defensive when they say, Oh, I don't believe and just be who we are. Yeah. Just be real. Be real with people. Excellent. I think that's a really powerful message, isn't it? Something mm. just simple but can be really powerful in people's yeah. lives. Yeah. Is there anything else? Um I think you mentioned that you that there's some powerful verses from the Bible that you want to share? The main verse that really was real for me, because um, I'd found a spirit of peace in my heart, yeah. and um, and I've, I found that with what's happening, just to give my worries to God straight away, yeah. don't hang on to them for one moment, just give your worries to God. And John 16, verse 33, which I believe is being used a lot, I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, yeah. I have overcome the world, Love says you. God. Brilliant, lovely. Thank you, Carol. I think that's really helpful. It's been my pleasure. It's Thanks been for my coming pleasure. in. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.